Hi there, Mike Thornton from Pro Tools Expert, and this is a video from community member Paul Sinkovich showing how to use the MXF for Mac player with its in-app purchase TC Sync to get the player to play the video perfectly in sync with Pro Tools 11. First, open the video in the MXF for Mac player and then set up the preferences like this. Select an input channel, in this case channels 9 to 16. Then next, make sure that the counter window is active, like this, and that the online option is checked, like this. Now expand the counter window by clicking on the small arrow and then check the sync to movie time option in the player's preferences. Notice at the bottom of the preferences both the TC and MC lights for time code and machine control are red, showing that the player isn't receiving time code or machine control from Pro Tools. Open up the corresponding project in Pro Tools and go to peripherals in the setup menu and in the synchronization tab set the MIDI time code generator to the virtual port option. Then in the machine control tab in the MIDI machine control master section check the enable option and then set it to virtual port like this. Now you can click OK to close the peripherals window. Select MIDI Beat Clock in the MIDI section in the Setup menu and check that the MIDI Beat Clock is set for the virtual port and then click OK to close the window. Check that MIDI Timecode is enabled which can be set as a button like this on the toolbar. And now when we go back to the MXF for Mac player we can see that both the timecode and machine control lights are now green. Now let's see it in action. If we rearrange the screen so that you can see the Pro Tools edit window as well as the MXF for Mac player and the counter windows and then hit play in Pro Tools, they both play together in sync. Even if you jump around the session, they sync up almost immediately. This could be a really useful way of getting round the video problems in Pro Tools 11 and also make it very easy to use MXF files in a Pro Tools workflow. Thanks to Paul Sinkovich for making this video to show how it works and I'll see you again soon.